everyone. I'm so excited to see you again. This week is all about the desert, a place that is so hot and so dry, but there's still animals that live there. And we're going to learn all about them and we're going to sing some songs and read some books and may even make a craft. But what do we always do first? We sing our hello song. Are you ready? Okay. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm not so good. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm not so good. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? Yay! How are you today? I am good, but today it's very dark out, but it's raining. And do you know who needs all of that water? Our plants. So the plants are getting lots of lots and lots of water today. Very exciting. So now we are going to have our first book. And this one is called Dig, Wait, Listen. By April Pulley Sire. Deep in the desert, under the sand, the spadfoot toad waits. She waits for the sound of the rain. Skitter, skitter, scratch. She hears soft sounds. Is this the rain at last? No, it's a scorpion overhead crawling slowly past. Skitter, scratch. Thunk, 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 clink, clunk, clink, clunk. Sounds shake the soil. But it's only a herd of peccaries. Their hooves hammer the ground. Pop, pop, pop. What's that sound now? This is the rain. Is this the rain at last? No, it's a rat hopping in lengthy leaps like a tiny kangaroo. Will the rain ever come? The desert's so hot, so dry, and the toad's been waiting so many months in her basement burrow home. Tap, tap, tap. Could this be it? Is this the rain at last? No, it's a gilla woodpecker tapping on the tall green cactus. The toad feels the ground begin to shake. Then a crunch, crunch, crunch that's loud. Is this the rain? No, it's a park ranger's boots walking on the path. What about the tss, tss, tss? Is this the rain at last? No, it's the rattle of a rattlesnake giving warning, stay away. Surely that rumbling, that rumble rumbling, surely that's the rain. Not yet, it's the thunder of a distant storm, but perhaps the rain is near. Plip, plop, plip, plop, plip, plop. Is this the rain at last? Plop, thunk, plop, thunk, plop, thunk, Gush. Is it the rain? The toad hears it, she digs. Plop, thunk, plop, thunk, plop, thunk, Gush. Heavy rain pours, pounds down the, on the desert floor. Push, push, and the toad pops right out into the open air. Bleat, 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 the toad hears loud bleats. Is that the sound, rain sound too? No, it's a male spadefoot toad's calling. Here come, here come here. Plop, thunk, plop, thunk, plop, thunk, gush. The to toad hops in a puddle. A male rides piggyback. She lays her eggs like beads of glass that the male fertilizes them. Plop, thunk, plop, thunk, plop, thunk, gush. Two days later, the eggs hatch, wriggling and wiggling in their puddle home. The tadpoles are here at last. They eat, they grow, legs start to show, but their puddle is drying up. Will any make it? Yes, with new legs formed, young toads crawl from the puddle home. They rest, then leap into the desert beyond. Thump, 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 hundreds of tiny toads jump. The rain has made the desert green. Yet it won't be long till the desert's dry and toads dig down deep with their spade foot feet to wait for that sound. That marvelous sound, the sound of the desert rain. Plop, thunk, plop, thunk, plop, thunk, gush. Plop, thunk, 
plop thunk, plop thunk, gush. Plop thunk, plop thunk, plop thunk, gush. Yay! So now we're gonna have some songs. So our first song is about the desert. Are we ready? Okay. It's hot in the desert, so hot you can feel it. Hot in the desert, so hot you can see it. Hot in the desert, the temperature's rising. It's hot in the desert and everyone's hiding. The sunshine shimmers, heating the sand. The hot waves rising on the land. The plants save their water, holding inside. The riverbeds dry up and animals hide. It's hot in the desert, so hot you can feel it. Hot in the desert, so hot you can see it. Hot in the desert, the temperature's rising. It's hot in the desert and everyone's hiding. Yay! So our next song, it sounds like she'll be coming around the mountain, but it's about the desert. Are you ready? Okay. We are going on a journey to the desert. We are going on a journey to the desert. We are going on a journey. We are going on a journey. We are going on a journey to the desert. Oh, we'll see a rattlesnake. Watch it go whoosh, whoosh. Oh, we'll see a rattlesnake. Watch it go whoosh, whoosh. Oh, we'll see a rattlesnake. Oh, we'll see a rattlesnake. Oh, we'll see a rattlesnake. Watch it go whoosh, whoosh. Oh, we won't see snow or ice where when we're there burr burr oh we won't see snow or ice when we're there burr burr oh we won't see snow or ice we won't see snow or ice we won't see snow or ice when we go burr burr oh the sun will be shining yes it will hoo hoo oh the sun will be shining yes it will hoo hoo Oh, the sun will be shining, oh, the sun will be shining, oh, the sun will be shining, yes, it will, hoo, hoo. Oh, we'll see a swirl cactus when we're there, ouch, ouch. Oh, we'll see a swirl cactus while we're there, ouch, ouch. Oh, we'll see a swirl cactus, oh, we'll see a swirl cactus, oh, we'll see a cactus when we go, ouch, ouch. Now we're gonna do a song that sounds like the wheels on the bus, but it's about animals in the desert. The jackrabbit in the desert hops like this, hops like this, hops like this. The jackrabbit in the desert hops like this all night long. The coyote in the desert howls woo woo, howls woo woo, howls woo. The coyote in the desert howls woo woo all night long. The rattlesnake in the desert goes hiss hiss, goes hiss hiss, goes hiss hiss. The rattlesnake in the desert goes hiss hiss all night long. Yay! So now we're going to make a craft. And today we're gonna make a cactus. So I'm gonna show you what you need. For this craft, you will need scissors, green paper, colored paper to make a pot, some circle stickers for some eyes, or you could just draw them, glue, felt or pom-poms to make the little blossoms, and a marker. Did you see what you need? Good. So now if you have it, you can help make it with me or you can watch and do it later. So we're going to take our green paper and we're going to take a marker or a pen and we're going to trace our hand. So we're going to make sure all of our fingers are up. And we're going to trace our hand. And then we're gonna cut out our hand.
Okay, so now we have our hand. So this cactus is gonna go inside a pot. So we're gonna make the pot and the pot is also gonna be a card. So you can give this to a friend or someone in your family just because you like them. So I'm going to make sure that the folding part of the paper is at the top. And then I'm going to make sort of a shape like this to make the pot. So it's gonna look like that. And then I'm gonna cut it. Okay, so now I have my little pot and I have my cactus. So I'm gonna glue them together. So you're gonna put the cactus on the back. So this moves up like a card. So I'm gonna glue it to this part here so that I will be able to have, so eventually it'll look like this and you can open it like that. So I'm gonna take some of my glue and I'm gonna put it on my handprint. So it's gonna look like this. So now I'm gonna make sure I have my eyes for my cactus. So I have some stickers or you can draw whatever you want. And then I'm going to put dots in the middle for his eyes with my marker. And I'm gonna give him a little nose and a smile. So he looks like that right now. And what does a cactus need? It needs all the little spikes. So I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna draw little spikes all over my cactus. And then I also want to maybe put a flower. On cactus, they don't have a lot of flowers, but they sometimes have one or two. And so I'm going to use a little pom-pom and take some glue and just put it on one of the finger parts. There we go. And if you have some felt, you can make little flower, little flowers out of the felt. I'm just gonna do a little circle. Put it on a different one, maybe on the thumb part, like that. Okay, so it kind of looks like this, so you can see. And then on the card, I'm gonna, you might need help with this for someone to write it for you. But I'm gonna say, I'm stuck on you. Cause then it's kind of funny cause there's so many things inside the cactus and they, sometimes get stuck in your clothes. So it's kind of a funny joke. There we go. So we've got our little card. So there's my cactus. Oh, I lost one of my flowers. That's okay. I can stick it on later. And then you open up your card and it says, I'm stuck on you. Very cute. Okay, so now you can go and make it at home or maybe you made it together with me. I would love to see them. So now our area is kind of dirty and we need to clean it up. Are you ready? Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do their share. So now I'll put everything away my special card away. Okay. So now we're going to have our second book. And this one is called My Home in the Desert by J. Patrick Lewis. Welcome to the desert. Every bug, rodent, rabbit, and rattler in our habitat soaks up the sun. 
If you would like to meet in the shimmering heat of the desert, come join in the fun. Roadrunner, I am a bird who enjoys growing cuckoo for the lizards and snakes I devour, but I much prefer sprinting to flying. I can run 20 miles per hour. Wow. Meerkat, my family of 20 or more is known as a gang or a mob. We watch out for eagles and jackals and cobras because that's our job. Sidewinder Rattlesnake. I make lines like zigzaggy S's on dunes along this golden land. When my belly is full, then I wind up and disappear deep in the sand. Scorpion. I may seem like a miniature lobster, but my burrow is not in the ocean. What accounts for my fearsome appearance are my looks and my locomotion. Camel. The dromedary has one hump, the bacterian has two. It is easy to forget this rule, so here is what to do. Roll the first initial over on its flat behind. The dromedary is different from the back and tearing kind. Black-tailed jackrabbit. Ask a hawk, owl, fox, or coyote. Name your favorite fast food dessert. They will say the American desert hare. That's me, I'm on constant alert. Hidden homes in this vast playground of wind and sky, you are bound to discover a friend or two, but it may take a while and a very sharp eye to see shy desert animals come into view. Yay! So now we're gonna have some more songs. Are you ready? So now we're gonna do a song about a camel named Alice. I think you might know this song. Are you ready? Alice the camel has five humps. Alice the camel has five humps. Alice the camel has five humps. So oh, go, Alice, go boom, boom, boom. Alice the camel has four humps. Alice the camel has four humps. Alice the camel has four humps. So oh, go, Alice, go boom, boom, boom. Alice the camel has three humps. Alice the camel has three humps. Alice the camel has three humps. So go, Alice, go boom, boom, boom. Alice the camel has two humps. Alice the camel has two humps. Alice the camel has two humps. So go, Alice, go boom, boom, boom. Alice the camel has one hump. Alice the camel has one hump. Alice the camel has one hump, so go, Alice, go, boom, boom, boom. Alice the camel has no humps. Alice the camel has no humps. Alice the camel has no humps, cause Alice is a horse, of course. Yay! Now we're gonna do a song that is about a cactus and how you really shouldn't kiss a cactus or hug a cactus, cause it might hurt. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Cactus, cactus, I can tell you this. Likes the desert, likes the sun, but it isn't good to kiss. Cactus, cactus, what's this all about? Can store some water right inside, doesn't mind that drought. Cactus, cactus, might be good for bugs. They make flowers in the sun, but don't deserve my hugs. Cactus, cactus, leaves have turned to spines. A special type of plant we see, a succulent design. Today I kissed a cactus, I thought it would be cool. Now my lips are aching and I won't be there at school. Today I kissed a cactus, I thought it would be cool. Now my lips are aching and I won't be there at school. Yay! So now we're gonna do our last song and it sounds like Oh My Darling, if you know that song. In the desert, in the hot sun, grows a cactus big and tall. It is green and it is spiny. It's the best one of them all. Oh, suero, oh, suero, oh, suero cactus. You are green and you are spiny. You're the best 
best of them all. Yay! So now we're gonna have our third book. And this one is called The Cactus and Flower, a book about life cycles by Sarah Williamson. Cactus and flower lived in the desert side by side. Hi, little bud. Hello. Together they watched the sun come up, and together they watched the sun go down. And the sky turned from yellow to orange to blue to purple to pink to red. They spent many days together. Butterfly days were what they called them. Once in a while, everyone came out to play. Each night they played a game where they found different friends in the sky. My stars, Flower always says. Cactus grew taller, slowly but surely, and Flower grew too, such is life. One day, Flower lost a petal. Poof, just like that. Cactus knew what this meant, and Flower knew too. I'm still here, Cactus. We have a little time. Oh, another petal. Cactus's eyes were watery as Flower's last petal blew away. All the butterflies in the world tried to cheer Cactus up. Days passed, and days, and more days. Cactus watched the clouds go by, and at one point he saw a cloud that looked like flower. Cactus smiled at the thought of his friend. More time passed, then a little green bud appeared. Cactus knew what this meant, and slowly but surely, there were butterfly days again. Yay! So I hope you had fun today for our desert day and all the songs and our little special craft we made together. So now we're gonna sing our goodbye song and I will see you next week. Are you ready? Okay. The day is done and we had fun. The day is done and we had fun. We'll see you again next week. But for now, the day is done. Bye guys, I'll see you later.